When people ask me, what are you? I tell them that I am chosen, that I am not my body, that yes, this physical vessel has been a vehicle for my spirit for 19 years, but there is no age on my soul. I am limitless, but most importantly, authentically me. I was a filmmaker yesterday, I'm an artist today, and tomorrow, I might just be a baker. I don't stress what my future holds when I believe the destination is greatness, so please, save yourself the migraine for trying to place me in a box that you've created because I am everything and a reflection of you. If anything, I'm a magician because I have the power to create my reality, a walking piece of art that elevates each room with the present of her presence. I speak in a language of gold. I use the currency of my words to brighten auras in the room, uplift spirits, and unblock codes in the brain that have been blocked by cycles of invisible wavelengths. I am magic. They ask me, where are you from? I say heaven, but I'm settling on earth right now, learning that experiences are nothing to attach to, and 95% of the time, exes are pointless to run back to. But I am gentle with myself, with every lesson I endure. Each day I try to talk to her with more care than the day I did before. And when they tell me you look familiar, I say you must have seen me in your dreams or in a carnation of a butterfly because every time I died, my rebirth showed me that each transition that awaited me was more beautiful than the last and that in order to fully grow your wings, you have to let go of the past. I am not America's definition of black. I'm a product of the riches of Africa. My history did not start with slavery. It was the only publicized chapter. I am not a synonym for trauma. I have a bloodline of royalty and a spirit of love. Luxury is imprinted in my DNA and abundance is my birthright. My people were stripped from their culture so they created a culture within themselves. I guess our season's overflowing because they still try to steal details. Because you can try and imitate, but you can never duplicate. A masterpiece set in form. Originals will always take first place. I was made in the image of God, so I often have to crop out the hate every time they decide to photo bomb. When you call a chair a chair, no one looks at you crazy because the statue stated a fact. So why is it that when a black girl stands here and says all that she is, people get offended by that? 